FICO score versus credit score. A consumer credit score is a three-digit number that sums up a consumer's credit worthiness. Just as a grade point average is an indicator of how a student is doing with their studies, a credit score reflects how a consumer is doing managing their credit. The higher your credit score, the more attractive you tend to be to potential lenders. That's because a higher credit score indicates responsible credit behavior, which may paint you as a lower risk borrower. So, does everybody have just one credit score? The short answer to this question is no. Most consumers have multiple credit scores, including the two most popular consumer credit scoring models, FICO score and Vantage score. There are also specialized credit scoring models used by specific industries, such as mortgage and automobile lending, to help these lenders better assess how much risk a potential borrower represents. Other consumers, like minors, those who are new to credit, or those with little or no credit history, may have no credit score whatsoever. FICO score is the most popular consumer credit score and is used by 90% of the top lenders. FICO stands for Fair Isaac Corporation, the company that developed the scoring model, which debuted in 1989. FICO scores range from 300 to 850 and are calculated using the following criteria and percentages. Payment history makes up 35% of a FICO score. A history of making consistent, on-time payments may be a good indicator that you will continue to do the same with additional credit. Amounts owed comprises 30% of a FICO score. It is calculated based on how much you owe on credit accounts compared to the credit limits of those accounts. Utilizing too much available credit could indicate you're more likely to default. Length of credit history is 15% of a FICO score. An older account age average indicates you have more experience managing credit, which could paint you as a lower risk to creditors. Credit mix makes up 10% of a FICO score. It considers the assortment and types of revolving and installment credit accounts you have. A more diverse mix suggests you have experience managing different types of credit. New credit is the final category and accounts for 10% of a FICO score. Too many new credit accounts opened within a short period of time could be an indication that you're struggling financially. So, when someone refers to your credit score, are they actually talking about your FICO score? Given FICO score's popularity, these two terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but credit score is a generic term and could include FICO score, Vantage score, or any number of industry-specific credit scoring models. The important thing to remember is that your credit score, no matter which model is used, is calculated based on how you manage your credit. So, if you're responsibly managing your credit, it shouldn't make much difference which specific credit score a potential lender uses. Exemplary credit behavior should translate into an attractive credit score in most any model.